All right, cool. I'm recording. So according to proxy, I sound perfect now, yep. which is the best compliment I've had in a while. Oh yeah. Ever Do I sound perfect? Eh, pretty Some close. I give you a, I give you a 99 out of 100. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all be perfect proxy. You dirtbag. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! No spleefing, no spleefing. But uh, anyway, as kind of a finale to this series, we were thinking we would fly around the different areas that we've been to and I'll also show off some we haven't and just give some feedback on things we liked, things we thought could use some work and, and that sort of thing. Awesome. So we have some derps along the way. Let's go to Marsh of Decay because that's the one we went to first. Yes. And I believe this was our first opportunity to really start like farming some livestock and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Which we we should have like having a lot of i think there were cows here weren't there yeah over right here mm -hmm. um it's super lit up now because i did this for the intro recording oh right just so you guys know. <laughs> but we, we still lit up a decent amount of this before oh too. yeah you can see all the so, torches so this area it was really daunting at first like when you first walk in here and there's so many zombies mm -hmm. but i actually really liked this area overall i did too i thought it was really cool like i like how um you could be really high off the ground and as long as you blocked off areas they couldn't really get to you i thought it was really clever and like they kept getting stuck in the water and then it was nice farms for like flesh and stuff yeah and the fact that he balanced the amount of spawns with the fact that they were pretty much one hit kills mm -hmm. i think was really really smart because if there were that many zombies and they were all full health vanilla zombies that would just be no bueno yeah and, and the fact that you could tree parkour around most of the area, too, instead of, like, pillaring and stuff, if you wanted to get off the ground and explore things. Yeah, that was super nice. And mm -hmm. um, I do remember, like, some of the loot in this area was, like, up here there was a diamond horse armor. So it's, oh, like, yeah. A little trolly. <laughs> little, maybe... Oh, it's still there. You didn't even take it. No, it's a, a lot trolly, <laughs> but again, it is just one of the first areas, so not that right. bad. Mm -hmm. And then one thing we're probably like one point we're probably going to come back to multiple times in these next couple videos is the uh, the issue of loot. Loot. I would say like that's the one thing that I feel could really use some work, like especially in later areas. Um, with other CTM maps I've played. Like, once you defeat an area, you not only get the monument piece from that area, but you're hopefully better geared for the following areas. Mm -hmm. And that's something we both feel is kind of missing in a lot of, especially the late game areas. Like, it, it doesn't really offset the cost of going through the area. Like, you're probably going to end up using some gear or losing some gear in our case. Yep. And there wasn't much to, to help you out after the area, if no. that makes sense. So we'll definitely come back. Um, yeah. this, I think, was supposed to, it was definitely supposed to be a trap, <laughs> but, um... Wish Proxy totally would have fallen for. <laughs> yep, because of Cthulhu, I thought it was bedrock. <clears throat> but yeah, no. um, this was the big hole it created, so it was mm -hmm. definitely ouchy. <laughs> no, no bueno, right? No, no bueno. All right. This area I, I was... I thought that was pretty funny, though. Yeah, it, mm -hmm. it was... I liked this area. This is our first custom mob area. Oh, yeah, that's um, true. The crazy glass head guys. Yeah, still not sure what those are supposed to be. <laughs> uh, not going to lie, but I did like this area. It wasn't too challenging. Again, could have had some more loot in it. And I find um, yeah. it it really reminds me of like a sewer system or something. So I like how you stayed mm -hmm. away from colors and there was just the mossy in the ceiling and then the slow sand in the bottom. Like you did a really yeah. good job balancing it. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I would have liked to have the glass heads drop some kind of thing that would be useful mm -hmm. somehow. A nice um, custom loot. Yeah, because did they, I can't remember, did they just not attack us or were they just glitched for a while? Um, I feel like they may have attacked us at a different point. I think at one point they randomly attacked me, but that was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like they just seemed like they didn't have a purpose. Like they yeah. weren't necessarily difficult and they didn't really do anything for or against the player so mm -hmm. i i definitely liked the look of them like that was it really, really cool. creeped us both out for a while like what is going on yeah 
And then yeah, I like this. I love the use of the waterfalls and stuff. And I like how it mm -hmm. is dangerous where, yeah, you do have quite a few spawners, but they're strategically placed where the creepers are falling below us most of the time. So it's more so an issue getting out than getting in. But well, there are a few here. People. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there are a few here that can crawl over and stuff, which is... There's, in this spot right here, um, there's one, two, three, four spawners, and they can mm. all come towards us, which really wasn't that bad, because yeah. we had the water to take up some of the blast, and again, there's one of these glass head things that didn't really oh, yeah. do anything. Yeah, I, I feel like overall the area is pretty well balanced. Like, I wouldn't have died at the end here if I was paying more attention, I don't think. That yeah. Was, that was mostly on you. Yep. Not so much on the on the map maker. Yep. But uh, yeah, o overall, like you had to do some exploration to find the actual wool, but mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't so bad that you're just wandering around for hours trying to find out where the heck you're supposed to go. Yeah, and then Although, we also had. I, I just want to say, I hate these random obsidian blocks because they always make me think something's going on. Yep, Kalulu <laughs> used to always follow them. I know. Well, it's like it's this one random block. I I don't know if that's something that you know helps out with map making to like designate a certain point for some reason or something but oh it always made me so sad when it turned out yep. to be nothing <laughs> okay All but right. yeah overall i liked this area what, what was it called again uh, we didn't look at the sign when we came in yeah, i guess we, we didn't, didn't look on our way out and there was another area this led to the intersection didn't it yes yes and, and so we totally missed it at first yep i like how you can come up different ways like you had two paths instead of just one yeah. And we had our intersection, but we'll go back to the other place oh, first. Oh, oh. Right, right. Yes, definitely. Um, and then, so there's one other area in this intersection. Oh, we should also talk about the intersection, too, when we're back there. Yeah. We were doing a little bit of that off camera. The I like intersection the intersection. Itself. Yes. I kind of cool. messed it up while recording. <laughs> That's totally my bad. Bit. Yeah, like the, the duality of the water above and then the. Lava below was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, down here at this horrible sniper blaze area, this is where our looting oh stick was, right? If yes. I remember right, that I love that idea. Like that, um, like an unbreakable item that can be really useful for farming for the player. Absolutely bueno. Um, and then later on, I guess we can touch on this again later. But getting spawners as loot is something I've never yes. seen before, and I think is really cool and very useful. I think um, there, it would have been really cool to have like a little hidden area back here oh, behind this little lava fall true. with the chest. Let's check the other one because there might actually be one, but All right. doubtful. Yeah, nothing. It would have okay. been kind of made us want to look around the intersection a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, but the so, fact that you did have some loot in the intersection I think was good. Yeah. So that was um, Culver Creek, and now this is oh, Storm right. Cliff Castle, which oh, was I below. Oh, Storm Cliff. Yeah. And I so actually this really where, liked this one. It was pretty cool. This is where we got all those punch bows that helped us a lot throughout mm -hmm. the rest of the game. And see, that's that's what I'm talking about. Like, the area at the time was fairly difficult. Like, I think we each died at least once here. But after we secured it, we had infinite punch three bows. Yep. Which really helped us out in the rest of the areas. So. Are you drinking potions, by the way? I just got splashed. Yeah, just for YouTube <laughs> purposes. Okay. I do yeah, I, really like this area. I really liked mm -hmm. it. It is very cool. Looking. It would have been, I think, a lot nicer if it had been open ceiling. Oh, uh, open to the sky? Yeah, so that, like, it was always, like, you know, day and or I night. Think, yeah, I'm pretty sure you could set it so that you have a command block always setting things to night, too, if you want to keep it dark. Yeah, it would have been really like cool that. to have it so that it was always dark in this area, so that, you know, <laughs> it would have been really cool looking, and yeah. Yeah. Well, it did look really cool when you're coming up to it, and I think I think he had some lighting here and there. Mm -hmm. Did he? I don't know, but like as you start to see the castle, like that was a really cool effect. And like you gave us uh, emerald here, it would have been nice to maybe give us like a villager or something with oh, special trades. I about that. Yeah. So that we could actually do something, because it's really mm -hmm. I find in maps it's almost a little bit pointless to give players stuff that they're not actually going to use. Yeah, like. Emerald in and of itself is pretty much useless. And like shoot. redstone and stuff. Like maybe make it another block. Mm hmm. But yeah, but, a, a villager trade could be cool, even if you get like a villager egg as a, a loot item, or if you just come across 
a, a custom villager or something like that. Yeah, I liked with but, this area how we could like swim around too, like with the boats. Oh yeah, that was neat. Um, and there were there were a lot of like coal pockets and stuff too in some of these mm -hmm. islands, right? Which was really useful at that time in the map. Yeah, because we didn't really yeah. have a lot. Um, inside the area, overall, whoa. Oh yeah, I oh, yeah, remember I, this. Oh yeah, I may have found this at one point. <laughs> And because there's, I think I found this when I came back to farm up some bows. And then there's two spawners down here for the same guys, too. Yep. So you could make a serious grinder here for these skellies if you wanted to. Really, though? But I but really I, like I this area, the, too. Yeah, the castle itself looks really neat. Um, one thing I would say for, from a, for blah, 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 words, vines. from a performance standpoint is the vines. Um, and this is something we ran across in Death Valley as well. But uh, back in the day when I had an older computer, it would not have been able to handle this because the vines are really nasty for, yeah. for performance. I have a pretty optimized PC. Like, I'm not going to brag or anything, but I have, like, a really <laughs> good graphics card, like, you know, high-end stuff. And right now I'm getting about 20 frames a second when I can mm -hmm. usually get, when I max it at 30, but I can usually get about 150 to 300 frames a second. Yeah, so... So just to ensure that people of multiple computer types can handle a map, um, and I think this is something Vex learned the hard way too with stuff mm -hmm. like um, Canopy Carnage and whatnot because leaves are kind of the same way. But Minecraft is not the most optimized game ever, so things like this can end up taking a toll on, on lower-end computers. And I think having vines in front of the entrance was a bad idea because it's like impossible to find this thing. Oh, you mean for getting back? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I definitely feel like some vines are really cool, and they can add a really neat feel to an area, but they do spread, <laughs> so yep. they can get worse over time, and it can it can all add up after a while. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I really like that area as well. I feel like those those bows alone made it worthwhile and yep. really helped out later. Definitely. On. All right, we'll take a cut until we are in the next area so we can keep them pretty short so we're not Sounds like good. hour long. True. All right, see you guys over there. See ya.